Jeff Francoeur. Well, here we go, partner. We've heard an awful lot about Ian Anderson, the top-rated Braves pitching prospect. Well, he gets the ball today after a slight delay. Yeah, had to sleep on it one more night, right. so hopefully he's ready to go. Look, he's a uh, mid-90s fastball, big power curve, and a good changeup. Uh, I think he's by far the most polished pitcher down in that Braves system. And at the same time, as Bobby Cox told me one time my first game, it only happens once. Go out there, have fun, enjoy yourself, and you know what? If you're going to be out there, you might as well be productive. However, he does not have an easy task because Garrett Cole's the opponent. Yeah, look, when you're facing this guy, you know you have to be on top of your game. Ian's going to have to do that. Garrett Cole, one of the best pitchers in baseball since he went to Houston. You know, he's with Pittsburgh. It was more 94-95 sinkers. Goes to Houston. They got him throwing the fastball at 97-98. All he did was turn himself into probably the best pitcher in baseball. Braves are going to have their hands full today. Atlanta hasn't played since Sunday. The Yankees have not played since last Thursday. We'll see how rested or rusty these two clubs will be here in this doubleheader. And when we come back from break, Kelly Crawford. We'll talk about Ian Anderson's Atlanta Hawks connection. It's a great story. Stay tuned for that. It's the Braves. It's the Yankees. We're with you in Atlanta next. for you doubleheader Braves and Yankees and 21 hours later Ian Anderson with the sun shining should finally be able to make his major league debut and you know during a normal season his friends and family from Clifton Park New York would be here in the stadium rooting him on and that includes Kevin Herter of course shooting guard for the Hawks these two were teammates in both baseball and basketball back in high school they won a state championship together Check it out there. Baseball and, you know, Herter. For Ian Anderson, the pride of Rexford, New York, and ready to go to face the Bronx Bombers today. I think the thing Bird, Birdie said that hits home for me, he, he does throw that high fastball, but you got to get it in. you got to get it away. You can't live down the middle of the plate. I'm looking forward to seeing he's got that big power curve. Look, I, I think any time you get to see a young guy like this come up and make his debut, you're just excited to see him pitch. And I think for Braves fans, we've been waiting for this all year. I think for this guy, when the, the starting staff had some injuries, guys get sent down. So uh, congrats, Ian, and let's see what he's got. Well, he's going to face a New York Yankees club that homers. They don't have Aaron Judge in the Toyota starting lineup for game one, somewhat surprisingly. But still, uh, Jeffrey, a lot of power with uh, Voigt, 10 homers. Ursula Sanchez, five homers apiece, and the Yankees, of course, swept the Braves in the first two games played between these two teams up at Yankee Stadium. Yeah, they're missing three or four guys in that lineup, but still got a strong lineup with the players that they have. But one good thing from, like you said, he was supposed to face Judge last night. We imagine Judge probably will play the second game, so at least one less guy for him to have to worry about. Chin at 16 and 12 on the year. And this is his Toyota starting lineup. Great to see Ronald Acuna Jr. back in that leadoff spot. Red Hot Dansby Swanson second, Freddie Freeman third. But, Jeff, as you said, they're facing a man that hasn't lost a game in 28 regular season starts in Garrett Cole. Uh, see those numbers. They explain themselves. Uh, one of the best pitchers in baseball. The one thing you could say, he gives up a lot of home runs. 36 home runs allowed since the start of 19, 10th most. He's, I think, eight straight games now he's given up a homer. 